my course is in 662. It's the first clinical course for the psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner specialty. And um, what, um, what I've done to engage the students is primarily discussion boards and also use of voice thread, um, both from me to the student and then student interaction. And so to begin, the, uh, the startup page is a welcome from me. And then I have not only the uh, important course materials that students need to start with, but uh, voice thread for the students to introduce themselves on this first page. And then on uh, that first page, I uh, just give them the starting points that they need, the course syllabus, the course calendar, and give them just an overview of the, of the course and what to expect. And so what, what I like most about this course is the course design and thanks to the course designers here that it has been that yeah the the design is much different than it had been previously so just having the organization of being able to at a glance really almost you know in this first page they can kind of see the outlay of of the whole course and the essentials that they need so the modules are divided. The modules take up, of course, the whole semester, and then the weeks are incorporated within those. Uh, the essential materials that they need in addition to the modules where they have all the intricacies of the course content are up here at the top. And um, so what I like most about the course design is that it's, it's clean and it's well organized and I think it's student friendly. And you know, I um, had received a grant to develop this course back in 2011. And so it was a major health resource uh, service administration grant. There was a lot of almost frenetic development because it had to be developed rather quickly. We didn't have a specialty like this in the master's program here. and. I felt, I felt that it could have been done better if there had been more time, but uh, that was 2011. And I think, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big course. It, it was a six hour course then. And um, that was also a time and that kind of things fell apart in my personal life. My husband kind of went down the tubes and he's had seven major back surgeries up in, in Minneapolis since that time. And so it was a lot of driving to Minneapolis, a lot of trips up there. And, you know, so everybody has personal lives, but, but I think my energy just kind of waned and I, I knew that the course needed work, but it was just almost this heaviness of where do I start? And, um, if you had asked me back then to take a look at the course, not that you know the dean and the associate dean couldn't go in and look at it, but I would have been embarrassed to really show you the intricacies of the course because I felt like it it needed more. And uh, and so now with the way the course has been designed and the content I have in there, I feel proud of it and I feel, you know, I feel like I would be happy to share it with anybody. Not that I wouldn't have before, but I would have been embarrassed. And, and you know, an interesting thing reflecting on some of this as I've gone through, uh, back when I was starting in, in my graduate degree, uh, I was at IU, but I took, I did a lot of my minor work at, at Ball State and I was in my late 20s and I remember sitting in those classes and oftentimes there were older people who I'm sure they were old to me. They were probably younger than I am now. But I would be so frustrated with them because they couldn't, you know, what would take them five clicks and then backtrack. And I would be so impatient because I just wanted to move forward. It's just a click. How hard is it? And so now, you know, all those years have passed and I'm the one now who takes four clicks and you know I'm not as fiery and sharp as I was back then and being able to make the technology do what I wanted and so in all that happening I think you know it was just uh, almost a feeling of uh, it's just too much so I'll just do status quo and I'll stay uh, where I am because I didn't have the 
you know, the input of Megan and Larissa and Johan, some of the other people to uh, inspire me to make it better. And, uh, you know, and I, I've got six kids who they are very tech savvy and then they quickly you know, move through anything that they're doing. And I'll say, back up, just show me a minute. So what I, I just wanted to say there, and I could say it at the end, but I am just so grateful at the, the course designer support because it would not be what it is at this point if I hadn't had that. And there were, you know, a couple times I'd come in and say, I've, I think I've just erased everything and I just need to start over and I, I shouldn't even be here. But, you know, they were just always so affirming and looked at it so differently. And I think when you have that kind of support and, you know, I think what I need to do maybe most as, as a takeaway from this course is connect with my colleagues out there and tell them what kind of support that we have here and how you really can look at things differently because we have a lot to do and, and I, as you all do. And so it's, hard sometimes to drum up that energy to make the things better when you don't even really know where a jump off point you don't have a good starting point so so i think you know i'm just going to get my soapbox in and let more people know at the university how um it's not that hard if you have the support because I do like to do things myself. My Larissa can attest to that. I just want to know how to do it so when I go home, I can do it myself. But but to have their support, I, I and and then all of you just to see the things that Susanna's done and and some and Denise, some of the really cute things that you can incorporate into these courses to make it you know attractive to students because I think that's one of the things that my course is like and you know my evaluations have been stellar I have ex students have liked the course and um, they've passed the certification exams so it's not like you know so then you can kind of stay where you are instead of instead of really taking the time to develop this so um, and and I said in that midterm um, presentation that at the front end I did so much work in collaborating with people across the country and in um, who are directors in these programs and looked at how the the starting point the base the um, the national criteria the national certified criteria was incorporated because I didn't, well, for one thing, it's changed some since 2011, and I didn't feel like I had a good base for that. It felt like it was mucky and repetitive in some ways. Sometimes it was redundant, and it just kind of made me sick when I looked at it. And so it's just clean. You know, I just feel like you go, I've just taken a shower when I see this course because it's so much better. So, so anyway, um, you know, just to, to go through in the clinical experience, um, I, I have an overview where it, where did I, did I close it? Okay, so I go up here and open There's, that? Yeah. Okay. That arrow. There you go. There you okay. Go. So, okay. All right. Yeah, I can do that. So the clinical experience gives you, gives them an overview of the clinical experience. And then, you know, I've got all the, uh, you can just tap, tap here, like below. Below? Actually, just, just drag the drag. Well, you might have to get just pretend right on you're ahead of the mouse. I think that's the mouse. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Give me one second. It's okay. Edit mode. Oh, is that what you did? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, we're still well, learning. Can you? See, and they, they still take my hand, but just to uh, scroll down, I gave, I just gave them an overview, and then, um, and then all their clinic essential clinical stuff. Now, what am I doing here? So why won't it move, Laura? Oh, oh just use the mouse. Yeah. Okay. There's no space for it. I just want to scroll down. Can I just not scroll down? If you want me, I can scroll down. Okay. Let me watch this. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I was doing that, but <laughs> it's with two fingers. So, <laughs> two okay. fingers. All right. Two fingers yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. I think you create a lot of smart things. The stuff, I think that touchpad is just. It's cool. It is so nice. Cool, it's it's so nice. Really 
yeah and so anyway i just you know it gives all the clinical stuff here in a, a bundle and then uh, what i like about the modules is that they go in for each module and it tells them the corresponding weeks and so everything is there i give them all of the expectations the uh, objectives for the course and then they have a to-do list what's expected in that module and then the information that they need in the assignments and then uh, everything's linked and so they um, they know exactly what is expected and then and in this link you know they have all the assignments and in this course it's so critical that they understand they have to pass both the theory portion and the clinical portion if they don't and we've had students come back you know, almost well upset because they can do up get a very high score in the clinical for example and not pass the theory portion so they don't pass the course so i had to separate all that out so then under each of these links it's uh delineated exactly how many points they need and and uh, what those assignment expectations are so they have the theory assignments and what they need to do to pass that and then the clinical assignments what they do they need to do to pass that and um, and so then and the, as the resources is you know one clean link so they can go to the student handbook and they they can know right away what to do if they're not passing the course so all that documentation is just very clean and in, in the one link so as I said um, I just feel like it's much more organized I feel good about it and so what are some important things that faculty need to know I just think foremost that there is a great deal of support and I would like spend hours frustrated and Megan would say, just call, just get in touch with Ashley or Laura or Larissa or anyone. And, um, and so I wasted a lot of time just trying to do it myself. <laughs> and then what uh, would you define as, as a success? I just think it's students, it's student outcomes. If I can see, see a student who comes in at the beginning of fall semester, they have all their core, they have all their clinical core, which is a lot of work to get to that point where they come to me. And then, but they're very naive in regard to interviewing and doing that clinical piece. They feel so uncomfortable and awkward. And at the end of the semester, given the content that's necessary and given the uh, basic tools to do interviewing and therapies, they are, if, if they are so much more advanced at that point, you know, where they're almost at an intermediate level at the end of fall semester, then I feel like I've done a good job. And by having this kind of organization where they know what's there and they know where to go and they know what's expected right from the get-go, that I think will just add to that, you know, that ease of transition to be able to jump in and do what they need to do and understand the didactics that they need for the course and then, you know, get to the point where the end of fall semester they feel you know they feel somewhat confident and then by the end of spring they feel good to launch that practicum because in summer they have 300 hours of, of clinical practicum to do and they need to you know be independently functioning and um, by the end of summer they're going to be practitioners so hopefully they won't be taking care of any of you but they ought to be competent <laughs> so thank you so much thank you I have the uh, 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 honor to be Kathy's instructional designer. In the very beginning, her course is really complicated because there's a lot of the industry standards and we're trying to simplify the learning outcome and it was just almost impossible. So what makes the whole course possible become very successful result? It's really because she did a lot of the prep work out front, trying to really figure out all the little modules, trying to figure out what, the, what kind of activities she would like to have students to um, participate in. And then we pretty much just do a little bit of tweaking to, to do the almost like interior design. She already get a sofa box, already get a kitchen set figure. We just kind of figure out where to put it. So really, she's very humble at the very mm -hmm. beginning, and we're so grateful that, that this is happening. But she did a lot of work, so mm -hmm. I really would like to make that acknowledged here. Very well done, Doc.